Hey everybody, Rob here. Uh, this video is going to be for the instructions on the 5e spells effects coding for Fantasy Grounds. Uh, you see here I have it in my uh, library, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Story and open up the instructions. And uh, just move that right over here like that. Close this. And so, number one, click on the PC button. I do that. You can see I've got a little example cleric in there. As a matter of fact, let's open him up. And uh, then number two, uh, in the character selection window, click on the edit list brown circle. All right, do that. Number three, click on the import characters blue up arrow. All right, let's do that. And that's going to bring up my files, and it wants us to, number four, choose the 878507 spell coding XML. There it is right here. Uh, click on open. And that's going to put in all of the uh, different levels, uh, cantrips, and then first, second, third level, all the way up to ninth uh, when it's done. At the time of the recording of this video, I think I'm only up through fourth level spells, uh, but this will eventually have all of them. And so uh, the idea here is I've got my cleric, and uh, over here on his actions tab, he's got a Warhammer, but it's basically just a blank character. Now, you might have a character that already has all your spells there, but you want to get the coding. So uh, let's just do an example. Let me open up uh, first level spells. So there's this guy. Let's put him over here. Close that. Go to his action tab. So this is the first level spells uh from the php the elemental evils uh companion and the sword coast adventures guide they're all here these are all the first level spells okay with the code so now here's what happens uh if you open any of these spells let's open just catapult that is an example there's no text description right uh the the uh, casting time and the range and all that's there but there's no text description of the spell the reason for that is you know i can't be uploading something to the dm's guild that has every intellectual property of all the spells in it that would be a very bad idea so all of these texts uh, in these spells will be blank, but the codes is what you're looking for. So I'm going to show you an example of uh, what's going on here. Uh, this is the Searing Smite. This is my copy from the Player's Handbook, uh, because I have the Player's Handbook, the, the Sword Coast Adventures Guide. and you know all, all you really need for all the spells is the SRD material, uh, with a few exceptions. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to just show you as an example what happens here. So this is the Searing Smite real spell. And I'm going to drag that on there, get rid of that. This is the Searing Smite uh, one from, from mine. Uh, and we'll drag that over, and I'll show you the differences. So now if you open the one I own from the Player's Handbook, there's the description. There it all is. Uh, and if you open mine, it's not there. So uh, I had to do that because, you know, don't want to get in trouble. Um, and so, uh, but you'll see that the coding is different. Now, if you want, uh, this isn't required, but you, you could open this spell that you own, take the description, copy it, and then open, open your copy and, you know, paste it in there, whatever you want to do. You can do that. Uh, that's an extra thing you, you would have to do. Um, but you don't have to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the spell that I don't want, which is the original one without my coding. So now you'll see, let me just close this so that we don't get confused with what we're looking at. So don't need that anymore. Uh, you can see that I, I have uh, in the titles I put codes to remind the player or the DM when they're looking at it what's going on. So B is bonus action, C is self range, and C is concentration spell. So I might have the range or whether it's touch, concentration, bonus action, reaction, or ritual. Uh, that all might be in there. And then there's some other information uh, that helps you kind of know what's going on with this. Uh, but the important part now would be uh, what these effects do. So let's open the combat tracker. There's me and there's the mighty crocodile that we're going to fight. Uh, ooh, I've already got him targeted. Check it out. So I'm going to cast as a cleric Searing Smite. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to know that I have Searing Smite on myself. I want the DM to know. I want the timer on it for the one minute or ten rounds. So I'm just going to apply that Searing Smite. There's a note. I have Searing Smite on myself. It is concentration and it's there for ten rounds. Uh, if I get hit with a an attack and damaged, I need to make my save or lose the spell, right? So now let's put the effect on me. On me. Uh, and the way this spell works in particular is uh, the next time I hit an enemy, it's going to do 1d6 fire to him, and then it's an action, so that means that this will disappear once I do it. Uh, so let's target the crocodile. Let's throw a... Uh, and, oh, I missed. Well, that's that's too bad. I guess it's his turn. He attacks me. Uh, maybe he hits me, maybe he doesn't. If he if he does, 
uh, I lose, um, I lose, uh, my spell if I don't fail or if I don't pass my concentration save. But for the sake of the example, let's say, you know, he misses two. So now it's back to me. Uh, so now there's nine rounds left. Uh, but let's say this time I roll, and uh, I'm going to roll with advantage just to see what happens. Oh, I, 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 no, I held the wrong button down. Uh, and I missed. Let, let's just say that I hit, though. So let's just say, for example, <laughs> because I'm making a video, let's just say that I hit the crocodile. All right, so I'm going to do my damage now. So I have on there uh, the one uh, the 1d8 bludgeoning from the Warhammer, plus you see that it uh, added the, uh, uh, the 1d6... Uh, bludgeoning from the searing smite and uh of course took away the effect after i did it to him and uh wow what an impressive hit of three damage but uh it uh oh i guess that was fire yeah my bad so now uh since i've hit the crocodile i'm gonna apply this note for the dm and the players uh Searing Smite, uh, Wisdom Saving th Throw at the start of his turn, and because he's on fire now, and uh, if the uh, if it goes to the Crocodile's turn, and let's just say, for example, he misses his Wisdom Save, he's now going to take this 1d6 fire. And so, basically, you can see that, uh, I mean, I didn't need to go through how the spell works, you guys all know that, but uh, you can see how uh, all of the different effects that you are needed are here, and let me just... Uh, 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 go back up and uh, real quick open one of the other uh, or one of these so you can see how they're all the titles have all the different uh, information in it that you would need uh, whatever it might be like thunder wave is a is a self but it's a 15 foot radius you know or a 15 foot uh, cube out out from you so it's all kind of there at, so as you're looking at your spells at a glance you can remind yourself oh yeah hunter's mark is a bonus action but it's also concentration so i i can't cast, cast any other spells that are concentration, or I lose this one, and so forth. Uh, and then, of course, that when you open it up, uh, it's going to have the C mark there, so that when you apply it to yourself, and you're telling the DM, "Hey, I'm marking this guy, this guy, this guy for an hour, whatever it is." If you get hit and don't make your con save, he's going to take it off. So uh, that's pretty much it. I think that covers it all, guys. Uh, um, if you have any other questions, it, 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 you know, just just kind of work with it for a while, but. But uh, there are uh, other information. There is uh, there are there is other information in the instructions uh, that I go through down here, kind of to help you figure out what's going on um, with transferring the spells. Um, but that's that's pretty much it, guys. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. It was a lot of work. You can't even imagine. Uh, but I'm probably off now to go do some other different work of the same nature. So thanks, everybody.